So jumping across to Apple TV. Um, look, Apple TV, uh, look, I'll probably get one. Um, uh, I think it's, uh, now we've got AirPlay. Um, uh, <laughs> make sure that's the right way to say it. Um, I currently use that to send music to um, uh, an Airport Express from my computer. It's, uh, I'm yawning a lot today. <laughs> it's, the Apple TV in Australia is 129. It has that $99 price point in the US, $129 Australian, which is not too bad considering sometimes we get ripped off in Australia. But what we've seen is the Apple TV shrink. Um, been on a diet and it's come back uh, smaller and thinner. And um, look, I'm not necessarily 100% uh, sold on the, the idea that uh, um, movies are, are rent only. Um, uh, I think people, well, I think people still like to own stuff. I, I think that if they're going to go to to just a rental model, they need to increase. At the moment, you've got uh, like ten days, I think it is, or something, to watch the movie, um, and you've got forty eight hours once you start watching it to finish watching it. So I think that they need to maybe tweak that a little bit and just give a little bit more flexibility, um, you know, with uh, the rental model. Um, but look for streaming media from your iPad or um, iPhone with um, AirPlay. Look, sounds like a, a great idea to me. I'd like to be able to go the other way uh, as well. Um, if you're watching something on your TV and you wanted to um, watch it on your iPad um, or, or suck content from your, uh, your Apple TV back to your iPad, that would be um, ideal, ideal. Uh, I'd like to see that. So the other thing was iTunes 10. You may have downloaded it, you may not have. Um, you'll see a few changes. Icons down the uh, left-hand side are all gray, gray now, which uh, I must admit I find a little bit, uh, a little bit frustrating. The icons changed. Uh, they've got rid of the CD. Um, some people happy about it, some people not. Um, um, look, um, I can understand their move away from having the CD disc as part of the logo that makes perfect sense and and uh, very shortly everybody will become um, very much accustomed to the new logo um, so yeah icons down the side are all gray a um, bit of a comparison here um, the buttons at the top um, the red like the traffic light type buttons um, are now uh, vertical um, which is just kind of interesting um, uh, to make that different to all other all other software um, but the main one would be the layout where you can now um, have a, a layout where your albums, so if you've got um, uh, multiple, um, uh, if you've got tracks from albums and then if you don't have, um, if you've just got a single song, it doesn't show the artwork, um, it just shows the name of the CD, um, otherwise you can see the artwork and look I find that really easy to uh, be able to access. Um, the albums quickly because you can scroll down and you've got that visual reference so look I think that's definitely a, a great step in the right direction and the other thing is ping um, if you jump into your iTunes account you have ping uh, you can add me if you wish <laughs> on on iTunes and, and see what I'm uh, uh, listening to uh, or a fan of um, you can add your other friends you can add artists you can uh, uh, follow people um, following Mr. Um, Philip DeFranco uh, is the only person that I've added thus far. Um, look, I think that as this kind of establishes itself, yeah, look, it will be handy to kind of share things um, with your friends um, and just, you know, be able to check out what people are listening to. Um, I think probably more following artists um, and following your favourite artists, seeing what they're up to um, could be interesting as well. Um, Look, some people are social media addicts. I'm not, but uh, you know, it, it's it's certainly um, you know uh, a worthwhile addition. Um, will it be, you know, take off and be massive? Uh, look, I think it's just going to have lots of people using it because uh, there's lots of people who use iTunes. Um, will it have a lot of activity on it? Um, only time will tell, really. Um, but uh, look, check it out. Download. Uh, iTunes 10. Um, look, I don't think you'll be disappointed with um, the the the, uh, the improvements. As I said, the only thing that I not 
all that happy with is the uh, the grey icons down the uh, left hand side. So I'm just going to do a quick a quick recap. iTunes 10 is of course a free download. Uh, that's not going to cost you uh, not going to cost you anything. Um, just going to have a quick look at the price points. Um, the iPod Shuffle um, in Australia, two gigabyte uh, is only available in two gigabytes. It's going to cost you sixty nine dollars. The Nano, which is available in eight and 16 gig and of course uh, has a product red version which is only available online they come in an 8 gig at $199 and a 16 gig at $229 and the iPod touch comes in 8, 32 and 64 um, at $289 for the 8 gig, $378 for 32 and $499 for 64 gig and the iPod touch finally mentioned that before is $129 here in Australia uh, as opposed to the $99 price point that they've managed in the US. Um, you know, and with the Apple TV, of course, um, a lot of the stuff, uh, things like Netflix, aren't available outside the US at this stage. So there you go. There's a little bit of a wrap up of uh, some of the stuff that's been released since the Apple Media event. Um, look, there's, with all things, there's always going to be things you can criticize about it. Um, I think that in general, it's been a step. Um, in a positive direction um, you know there's things there that I would do differently but that's why I'm not running Apple and Steve Jobs is um, but let me know what you think in the comments uh, please subscribe uh, tick the little thumbs up um, I am Simon from Techno Life Video and we'll see you next time bye hi guys god damn god damn cold rain not <laughs> and back again with a little bit of a uh, follow up on a few things that they <laughs> hi guys it's Simon from Techno Video hello hi guys lovely so there you go round two minutes have uh, um um